Hey guys, you're listening to English Made Simple. This is episode 37, numero 37. Wow. Hey guys, my name is Milena and I will be your Yoda in your English learning journey. And you'll be my Padawans, just like Luke Skywalker. <laughs> he was the Padawan to Yoda. That was the Star Wars reference, by the way, for those of you who are like, what? What is Milena talking about this time? You may be wondering, has she been drinking again? <laughs> you may be thinking that, guys, but no. No, this is just normal me. Well, guys, Yoda is a strange-looking green creature. He was also a Jedi, and he was a teacher and a mentor to Luke Skywalker that was in the Star Wars, the movie... Anyway, that is just about enough science fiction we'll have in this episode. So, welcome everyone. Welcome to this short and sweet episode where I teach you something in five minutes or less. I would like to continue talking about being polite. We learned about asking questions in a polite manner. Let's learn some more words, shall we? By the way, how is your homework going so far? Should I even bother asking? <laughs> Have you practiced being polite so far with strangers or even with your friends or your family members? I haven't. <laughs> I haven't done my homework yet. Firstly, let's start this show with a quote by a singer, songwriter, Ali Kais from South Africa. This is one clever 21-year-old. He says, and I quote, Manners and politeness will never become old-fashioned. Wow. What a profound quote, very deep. You know what? I wish I came up with this quote, and I also wish I was 21 again. <laughs> According to this guy, the manners and politeness will always be in fashion. Mm -hmm. That's a new term for you now, in fashion. Uh, there's two words, in fashion, equivalent to um, esta de moda in Spanish. If something is in fashion, it basically means it's modern or trendy. So, according to Ali Kais, the singer, he said, manners and politeness will never become old-fashioned. Anyway, radio, those were my words of wisdom for today. So, in this episode, you know what I want to do? I want to help you sound more polite, because there are some words that can make you sound really arrogant, even though that wasn't your intention. My family and I weren't aware of these words when we immigrated to New Zealand. We had limited vocabulary, remember, as I mentioned previously in my last episode. Boy, it was hard, but we survived. And now we have funny stories to share. And we make fun of each other and tease each other. It's fun. But now you guys have the opportunity to learn from our mistakes. Mm -hmm. Consider yourselves lucky. Okie dokie. Now let's learn some new words. Let's imagine you are outside and need to stop a stranger on the street to ask for directions. What do you say? Hmm, here are some things you can say to a stranger or to somebody on the street. Number one, excuse me sir or excuse me ma'am. Ma'am is short for madam. I'm looking for the supermarket. Could you please tell me where it is? And this person, he says, <laughs> And you say, um, you have four options here how to reply. Sorry, what was that? <laughs> Sorry, what was that? Or the other option, pardon me. Or you can say, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you properly. Could you please repeat that? Or you can say, the last option, apologies, I didn't catch that. Can you please repeat that? And then he repeats it. <laughs> Oh, guys, you shouldn't reply to someone with a simple what. Saying what, it's uh, considered rude in English. You can't say what. Yeah, it's a bit rude. Instead, say something like this. Okay, again, you couldn't hear the person, you couldn't understand them. I'm very sorry, I didn't understand you. Could you please say it again? And he replies, it's over there behind you. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a great day. And now, let us imagine your phone rings during the conversation and the phone interrupts your conversation with this person. What do you do? You say, 
Sorry, sir, one second. Oh, sorry, ma'am, one second. It's like one moment, please, one minute. Yeah, you just have a little break from this person. Obviously, my example was a bit of an exaggeration, but I hope you were able to follow me. I hope you learned a couple of new words today. Well, that's it for now, folks. Uh, this is the end of the short and sweet episode numero 37. Oh, my goodness. Enjoy the rest of the week and have a great one. Hablamos pronto. Hasta la próxima.